Uh, I just have, it's on my practice loop. You know I want to write about the tights. <laughs> the one I go to war in. <laughs> Are you going to still wear those for the tournament? Um, I probably will. Ones? I might, I might change it up, but I don't know. I just, I'm a simple guy, even if it has holes. I mean, I'm not trying to go out there and look cute. It's a basketball game, so. Is it good luck, you think, or? No, it's not good luck. It's just wearing what I have. And, I mean, I can ask for new ones, but take too much time out of my day. So I'll just go ahead and stick to the ones that I have. You I'm can make a fleet of Nike right now. I mean. Uh, no, I'm sure they, your guys can take care of you. They're doing their job. They gave me one good pair, so that's all I need. <laughs> I'm a simple guy. I don't, I'm not trying to go out there and make sure my socks look good, my tights look good. If my whole got a jersey in it, I'm still playing it. Joel, you've played in a, a couple of postseason games in your career. What, how do things change now that the regular season's over and, and you're turning towards the tournament play? Yeah, um, this is the fun time of the year. Um, you know, I honestly love playing back-to-back -back games because you just get into a rhythm and you don't have to sit there and think about a game that's two days ahead or, you know, even though in the tournament you play two games and then you got like kind of like a week in between. But, um, you still get two games back to back. And so um, I like being able to play uh, in a system like that. And um, it's just a fun, it's just fun. You know, this is when uh, all the things that you worked on all year long um, come into play. And, you know, this is the time where you see miracles happen and um, people are playing their best basketball. So it's, it's just one of those uh, times of the year where it's just a lot of fun to, to be able to play in the postseason because there are some teams who are, you know, sitting home right now just watching and we're, we're blessed to be able to come back and practice and um, get ready for the tournament. Um, so it's, it's a blessing and it's a lot of fun. Dean Smith and Roy Williams now both have kind of preached the belief that you, you build momentum once you get into a tournament, whether it's ACC or NCAA. Have you experienced that, and, and do you agree with how that, that plays out? Yeah, I think so. Um, you know, you want to hit your momentum, you know, right before you get to the tournament. You don't want to start in the tournament. And uh, last year, I mean, that's what we did. This year, you know, it's a little different. Um, but, I mean, we, we lost last year uh, against Duke, and then um, we were able to go in and, and make some noise in the tournament. So. I mean, you want to hit your stride, but uh, I think we're, even though we lost two games in a row, I think we've um, gotten better as a team, and um, I think we're ready to make a run, and um, we're excited for this, uh, for the ACC tournament. You know, a lot of people look over it, but um, we're excited, and we're ready to play, and we're ready to uh, try to get four games in four days, which would be, it would be a lot of fun, so. When you were freshmen, you guys played four games in four yeah. days, got to the finals. Did you learn something from that that you can apply now, thinking that if you're going to cut down the nets, you got to play four games, or are you just going to look at this as one game at a time and TK, take each day as they come? Yeah, that's what we did my freshman year. We took uh, each and every game just one day at a time. We focused on uh, that team for the day and, uh, or that day and what we had to do to beat them to move on to the next round. And I think that's why we were so successful was we didn't we didn't look ahead. We just made sure that we focused in on the team that we were playing and you know some of the teams were more gifted than us and they were better than us and you know that was their first game while it was still it was our second game and third game so um i mean it's just all about just focusing in on that game and not worrying about what's ahead and if we can do that going into this tournament um that'll, that'll be something good for us you mentioned the other night that no one won a championship the other night but now they're going to start getting out trophies here coming up. Uh, do you think that's going to change anything for you? Uh, I mean, it will because, I, I mean, I always like to win regardless of if there's a championship or not. But, you know, it's just reality. You know, the other day wasn't – we weren't we weren't playing for a championship. We were just, you know, it was more for the fans than us. And, you know, that's just what the rivalry is about. And, you know, we always want to win that game no matter what. But um, – that's why I said that, but now it is a different mindset of, you know, it's you want to win the tournament, you want to just, you just want to build momentum, honestly, and to build a momentum um, is to win the ACC tournament so that you can go into March Madness 
on a good note and not just on a uh, on a losing note. So um, while it's all about building momentum, you know, it's still about you know just uh, just just winning each and every game and trying to, to win the tournament. So was it any different last year though? I mean, you won in sixteen, but you, you didn't win it last year. You still ended up playing on the last Monday night. Was there any different feel? From win to a loss going in? Uh, you know, it's just hard because this team is just different than last year's team. We knew that we had the team to be able to get back and do it. And, you know, last year our goal was to get back to the tournament and um, just get that redemption that we um, gave up the year before. But, uh, you know, this year's team is we – didn't, we didn't have, like, a goal like we had last year. And um, – so I think the biggest thing for us right now is just to take one game at a time and to try to do the best that we can each and every game and try to build that momentum going into the tournament. And, um, you know, I think it will be good for this team to be able to win it, win the ACC tournament going into March Madness with a little momentum. Other, I, I mean, I knew last year, even if we lost the, the ACC tournament, we still had a, a goal that we wanted to reach and that every guy was – going to do whatever it took to be able to get back. But this year's team is a little different, and we don't have that same goal. I mean, we want to be the last team on the on, on the Monday night, but um, it was just, it's just a different story to it than last year. So, um, you know, like I said, we just got to take it one game at a time and um, just get ready to build some, some momentum going into the March Madness. Joel, can momentum – or not, I'm sorry, you said momentum. Can adversity – help a team as you embark on postseason play where you have a reality check where you kind of have a chance to gather yourself before you head in? Yeah, I think so because, uh, you know, the ACC tournament is the last time that we'll be able to, if, if we happen to lose, you know, that'll be the last time that we can bounce back and, and get another chance to play. And so we just got to take the adversity that we went through this season and just try to apply it to the postseason. And, you know, those games that were close um, and we won by one or two points, you know, we have to learn from those games and we have to remember what we did in those games. And, um, I mean, that's what – last year that's what happened to us. We were down five and we thought we were going to lose the Arkansas game and it was a game in the season that we had the, uh, that same situation and we were able to come back from. And so um, we just got to take the, the adversity that we went through from this season and um, and just use it in the postseason, and I think that'll, that'll help us out. Last week, you get engaged, you have senior night, you guys lose in the manner that you did, then you have the game at Duke with all the emotions that go into that. You've had a couple of days to reflect now. When you look back on last week, how big a load was that for you personally? Yeah, it was a big load, but you honestly, I wouldn't change a thing because um, it's, it's been a fun time in my life just being able to to go out and, and play it each and every day in this jersey, practice jersey, game jersey. And, um, you know, I'm just, I, I'm growing up, and that's that's just part of life. And um, I'm just excited to be to be able to uh, do this each and every day. You know, there's a lot of kids who don't get the same opportunity. And for me to not only have a love for basketball, but actually have, you know, also have a love of my life you know, all at once, you know, I couldn't ask for anything more. And so while it was very emotional, um, like I said, it's a fun time in my life and I wouldn't change it for anything. Joe, is there one or two things that the team needs to really improve upon more so than you know, everything else? Yeah, it's just our defense. That's, it sounds like we say it over and over again, but honestly, that's what it is. Um, you know, we can score the ball with, with anyone, but it's all about getting stops. And if we're having teams shooting 50 percent, I mean, it's hard to to, to uh, beat a team like that, especially, I mean, even when you are scoring. For example, you know, the other night against Miami, it was one of our high high, highest efficiency games in a while on the offensive end, and we still lost the game, and that's because we couldn't get a stop. And so um, defense is going to be the key thing for us, and that will – that will um, the defensive end is is something that we have to take care of, and um, we just gotta make sure that we're focusing in on that, and that we're just trying to stop people. Because like I said, shooting fifty percent, you can't you can't win too many games um, with your with your opponent shooting that from the field. You were named uh, first in the ACC yesterday. I mean, just kind of what does that honor mean to you, especially you know as your senior? 
Yeah, um, it's it's a big honor for me, and it's just it's just uh, good to know that um, you know I got second team last year, and there are a lot of guys who get complacent with just being second team or um, just having an okay year or a good year, and then you know I could have just said. I could have just lived off of my accolades that I got from the last two years and um, came back and just, just settled. But uh, I just continued to work hard and um, I improved this year going from second team to first team. And so um, that's something that I wanted to do and it was a big accomplishment. Um, you know, I couldn't do it by myself. I got to thank my teammates and uh, Theo wanted me to make sure that I thanked him for, for getting first team. So I got to thank Theo. <laughs> but, <laughs> But uh, they, they helped me out a lot, and um, so while I'm, my name is up there, you know, they, they um, had a big part in it as well. If all goes well, you're going to have some late starts here for the next couple of days. How do you kill time on um, game days? I just make sure I bring my book and my journal that I write in every morning and um, listen to my music and watch highlights of Kyrie Irving. Damian Lillard, those are the guys that I look up to. And uh, that's how I'll just kill time and make sure that I'm staying off of my legs and just resting. Because we're going to have late games and then, um, you know, get in bed late. So I'm going to just make sure that I'm sleeping and getting as much rest as possible. You have a pretty elaborate pregame routine. Do you, will you do that for every game? Do you um, it's like three games in three days? Yeah. You will? Yeah. I mean, I stick to the same thing each and every day. And I, I just try to find things that I can do to just relax my mind and just get my mind off the game. You know, sometimes if you sit there and think about the game all day, you get, you start getting too uh, too excited for it, and you're just sitting there thinking about it all day. So I'll sit there and just try to do something that'll get my mind off of the game. If we gave you some oven mitts, would you have a rematch with Theo in 2K? <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I would. Um, we might bring our, our video game on the road. Like I said, I just like to do stuff that will relax me and just, I'm not the type of guy who just sit there and just wants to be focused all day. I have to have something that's going to get my mind off of it. That makes time move faster, so um, we might bring it, but uh, I might get my rematch this weekend or this week. So. No, no Golden State rule. Uh, yeah, no Golden State rule. Um, and if he does get him, I'll make sure I keep a pillow by my side. <laughs> Anything else before we find Luke? Thanks, Thanks. All right, no problem. Thanks, Thanks,